a bath, right? Just a nice, warm bath, right? Yeah, so man, that's what I'll say. I'll say, I'm gonna bathe myself in work. I just don't really enjoy baths, just because my skin gets really wrinkly and I'm, I'm deeply worried about aging. Okay, I get that. <laughs> Nate, will you do me a favor here and uh, we just help coach uh, plan practice? Thank you, sweetie. Okay, uh, I'll see you all in a little bit. Is he all right? No. <laughs> That was quite obvious that he's not all right. Safe to assume that Jamie Tart will be back on the pitch next match. That depends on Jamie. He knows what we need from him. Your decision to bench Jamie Tart was very brave. There's just one complication now. Manchester City have called and they've inquired about terminating Jamie's loan. They're going to take his house? <laughs> They want Jamie back if you are planning to bench him. I'm not planning on that. It's just a tad too unrealistic that the club who owns Jamie called after one game. He got benched once. How's Jamie doing? Says he can't practice today. Says he's hurt. I heard you're not going to be able to run with us today. Why is that? Because I'm hurt. Really sorry. Yeah, to it that. does. Relax, Ted. It's just practice. If you can't practice, you can't practice. You're hurt, you're hurt. And it's as simple as that. Shouldn't he be examined? By the club doctor, so kind of a shame that the entire football business isn't really portrayed realistically. I mean, now that I know that Jamie is a lone player, it doesn't make any sense how much influence he has. Some unemployed gaffers are asking if we'll have an opening soon. Hi! I've been up all night doing deep dives. Somehow I doubt that those coaches call personally. Got myself a little work planner. You couldn't get one without the word unicorn written on it? Fuck off! It's adorable! Mm. Couldn't help but think how you'd react if I told you to F off. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be all, Higgins. <laughs> I read this mad story about a kid who grew up in a shit part of South London and who later was forced to wrap his own verse in a charity single which was called Winner Winner Football Dinner. That was for world hunger. And I believe it was the cure. <laughs> Did you trip over something? That's the thing, coach. I did not trip over something. Something tipped me. Something not there. <laughs> <laughs> the treatment room is cursed. What? It's true. I don't believe it. Okay, good. Me and you, we're gonna go look in that room. No. <laughs> Is there something I can help you with? This is really awkward, but are you free tonight? Sam, I am very flattered. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to get rid of this curse. I can understand why you misinterpreted. I'm from Nigeria, and so I feel like whenever the subject of curses comes up, people are like, oh, I bet the African guy is really into this. <laughs> oh, you're obviously not. Oh, no, 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 I really am. <laughs> When I got scouted by Sunderland, Grandad drove me all the way there. He gave me this old blanket to keep me warm and to remind me of home. And that was the last time I saw him, because he'd uh, passed away by the time I got back for Christmas. That is why Blanky means so much to me. Did you just say Blanky? No, I said Blanket. <laughs> <laughs> A girl once said I look like Clive Owen in these sunglasses. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. <laughs> well, you say we burn this crap. Maybe we should do this part outside. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah. <laughs> you got rid of Jamie? Man City recalled him. I what? told you, Ted, they were concerned he wasn't playing. I finally got what? through to him. That's, oh, come on. It just doesn't make any sense. It still has been only one game also isn't it close to the end of the season no club would we call a player a lone player at that point of the season that's really disappointing actually it feels like the writers have no idea of football and the business itself 